Hey, what's going on? Aaron here, hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out James Bonadai's Local Marketing Vault, and you're wondering, is this a good way to actually generate some income online to start a lead generation business for local businesses in your area, okay? Let's talk all about this and find out whether this is a good way to make, uh, you know, big side income, maybe full-time income, or is this a waste of your time? Let's check it out, all right? Now, at any time, if you wanna get my favorite way to get to five to $10,000, 100% from home, just online using your computer, click the link below, and I'll send you my favorite strategy straight to your email if you want to check that out all right now over the years, I have reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different business models, different courses, different make money online, websites, surveys, games, GPT websites, things like that. And some of them are great and you can make a lot of money, but a lot of them aren't that good. And a lot of them, you can only make a teeny weeny bit of money. So let's check out uh, Local Marketing Vault to find out whether this is a good strategy and whether this is a good course for you to build out a potential lead generation business to make a lot of money, all right, or not, right? So let's check this out. So first of all, you might have landed on this page before. This is James's website, and um, it's basically an on-demand webinar training, okay? So if you come here, you'll see Local Marketing Vault. This is the actual course, right? what you're actually gonna see. And if you opt in, he's going to show you his um, you know, quick little business training. And if you're interested, you're going to have to uh, apply and you're going to speak to somebody on his team. That's how they sell you into the program, all right? So you may have seen this page, you've seen, you know, seen a lot of um, you know, testimonials, things like that. Let's talk a little bit about um, what you're actually gonna get with Local Marketing Vault, what you're gonna learn, how much does it cost, refunds, all that kind of stuff, so that you can decide whether or not you want to get into this program or not, okay? So um, James Bonadies and his partner, um, they have made a lot of money with lead generation. So essentially what they're gonna teach you how to do is they're going to teach you how to build a lead generation business that services local businesses okay so what does that mean that means that you're gonna go out and prospect local businesses around your area okay so it could be like you know a supermarket it could be um, it could be a consulting C firm it could be a hairdresser it could be a barber you know anything like that it could be um, a plumber it could be a construction company any regular business around your area right that needs more customers you would go to them you would pitch them your online lead generation business they would pay you a retainer okay so let's just say the retainer is a thousand dollars a month and then for that thousand dollars a month you're going to promise them a certain amount of leads that you're going to generate for them online every single month that's how it works okay so the goal is to get as many local business clients as possible and then to get really good at marketing and really good at generating local lead generation leads. That's the important thing here, right? So this is not international, this is local because you want local people walking into their businesses. So if you're based in Los Angeles, for example, right, you would be speaking to local businesses around your area and then you would generate leads specifically in LA so that these clients will actually get walk-in customers. That's kind of how this works, right? So it's a pretty cool strategy, and there are a lot of people doing very well with it around the world, but let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this, and let's see whether Local Marketing Vault really stacks up um, to teaching you how to do this, okay? So, um, you know, James basically has 10 sections inside of Local Marketing Vault, right? So he talks all about, first of all, how a lead generation, local lead generation works, how do you set it up, um, and then things like, he covers a lot of different areas, right? So there are 10 different sections inside of the training. Um, they cover things like marketing. So how do you learn marketing? How do you generate these local leads in the first place? So they talk about local pay-per-click marketing, they talk about local Facebook pay-per-click marketing, and they talk about local Google Ads marketing, okay? And they also talk about SEO, search engine optimization. How do you build out a, SEO website so that people will type in a specific keyword like, you know, bricklaying in LA or things like, um, you know, haircut LA, hairdresser LA, things like that, right? Supermarket LA, um, you know, local plumber LA, those types of things. It could be New York, it could be Buffalo, you know, it could be Kuala Lumpur, it could be Thailand, it could be Bangkok, right? So any city basically in your area, wherever you live, you would you know, go after these paid advertising strategies and also do search engine optimization where you would build out these websites and then collect emails for, for keyword phrases that people are actually typing out, okay? So the marketing section is pretty big. He covers quite a lot of areas, which is what I like. He covers SEO, Google Ads, local Facebook, and local pay-per-click, which is really cool, okay? A lot of lead generation programs only cover SEO, which is really the main way that a lot of people teach this strategy, but they also teach paid advertising, which I think is cool, right? The second pillar of this 
besides the marketing is the prospecting okay so you have to understand that with local lead generation it is your job to go out there and prospect and get local clients to believe in your service to buy all right so this part of um, you know this particular business model business model is very important so um, you know James teaches you all about the different prospecting strategies and you you basically have to get really good at sales okay because there's no way to shortcut this you have to go out there and prospect and get people to believe in your service in order to sign up with you now there are multiple strategies that they teach you don't necessarily have to go and um, you know pitch them face to face but you you do need to meet them at some point whether it's you know face to face or a zoom call um, they teach you different strategies to kind of get the word out there but it is important for you to speak to the business owners because they have to buy into your lead generation service does that make sense right so that is a very very big pillar of this particular business model if you can't get business owners to believe in your service and to sign up with you, then you don't have any revenue. You're not getting any customers, right? So that's the main revenue source. You have to find these businesses in your local area. You have to prospect to them, pitch them, sell them, do the contracts with them, agree on price point, and then that's how they pay you a retainer of whatever it is, $500, $1,000, $2,000 a month, for example, for your lead generation services. And then you gotta deliver the leads. Okay, that's how this business model works, right? Um, now, on top of that, James has a Facebook group. They've got weekly live coaching calls, okay? And the nice thing that I like is that there are quite a lot of testimonials of students doing well, even though some of them have taken a very, very long time in order to do well, right? So you'll see people, you know, like they've been in there one year, two years, three years, and they've, they're finally making money. But this type of business, it does take a little bit of time to learn and grow, right? So the biggest thing is if you quit, then obviously you'll never be successful. That's the same with any business, but this business model takes a little bit longer because there are a couple of areas that you have, you're gonna have to learn and get really good at. And we'll talk about that in, in a minute. It's a pro and a con, okay? So how much does this cost? If this costs $2,994. This is not a cheap program, okay? So I'm gonna round it up. It's a $3,000 program. Not everybody has $3,000 lying around, all right? But for $3,000, James will teach you uh, a very, very important skill set if you want to go down the lead generation local business path, okay? There is a three-day refund policy. I think it's a very short refund policy, uh, 72 hours. After that, if you don't like the program, unfortunately, you can't get a refund, okay? Um, but but the training is very, very good. Okay, It's very detailed, the support is great. Uh, James obviously knows what he's doing, okay? So that's kind of the, the, you know, uh, the way that the program works. Um, in terms of additional costs, and this is important for you to understand because a lot of people don't cover this when they, on the sales page of, of their programs, there is a lot of additional costs when it comes to growing a lead generation business, okay? So let me run you through it a little bit so that you understand this in your head, right? So first of all, um, you have to pay for the course, right? So the course is three thousand dollars. If you don't have, if you don't have three thousand dollars, you can't invest in local marketing vault. Now they have pay plans that will break it up uh, over a, a period of a few months, but you end up paying a little bit more overall, right? So th th that can help you to get in the program if you want. So there's a cost of a co the course. The second cost is you need to pay for ads. Okay, because you're running now basically a lead generation agency. That's essentially what you're doing, right? You're, you're running a lead generation agency for local business. Okay, so in order for you to generate those leads, you have to pay for them. The client doesn't pay for them, by the way. You pay for it, right? The client gives you money um, for a retainer every month, but that's revenue. So your job is to spend less money then the client pays you so that you can get into positive ROI, return on investment, okay? So that's why you've gotta get good at local pay-per-click marketing, Facebook pay-per-click marketing, Google ads, and then SEO, search engine optimization. You have to learn how to build out websites, you have to learn to do all the SEO, the backlinking, all that kind of stuff in order to rank for particular keywords on Google and then get those leads, right? Now SEO is free, but setting up the infrastructure for SEO is not free and it can be pretty expensive. Okay, now in the course, they recommend that you hire agencies to help you do that. Hiring people to do your SEO, because I do this, I've got an SEO team, is not cheap, okay? Uh, it can cost anywhere from $500 to two, $3,000 a month, depending on how you wanna set it up. So it can be pretty expensive, all right? So the cost of running this kind of business is, is quite high, all right? So you got $3,000 to pay for local marketing vault, you gotta pay for ads, and you gotta pay for SEO, I would say you need at least, 
you know, probably about eight to ten thousand dollars to run this successfully over a period of time. Okay, if you don't have that money, I probably would not start a local marketing agency. I just wouldn't do it because you're not going to have enough revenue to drive ads and build out your SEO component of the business. Okay, things cost money, right? The other thing is they use, they recommend a CRM that manages your pages, your funnels, um, your emails, your client flow, and things like that. It's not expensive. It's $97 a month, but just understand that there are little additional costs here and there for email marketing, for online advertising. You know, this is normal stuff that you have to pay for if you decide to get into an internet business, okay? So expect to pay at least a, a few hundred dollars a month just on your marketing tools alone. That's excluding the cost of the course, the cost of advertising and the cost of doing the search engine optimization. All right, so that's that's just kind of the cost. So it's not cheap. All right, um, you should have at least ten grand to do this. Okay, if you want to be safe, uh, you know, if you only have three thousand dollars for the cost of the the program, you're not going to make money. You're not going to be able to start this kind of business. Okay, so just understand this is real business. You need a bit of a budget to get you going. Okay, so let's talk about how easy and how difficult this is. Right, this has nothing to do with James's course, by the way. The course is very good. So if you want to grow a local lead generation business that helps uh, you know, local businesses around your area, this program is very good, all right? It's not the cheapest program, it's a $3,000 course, and the refund policy is actually very short, it's only three days, but it's a good course, okay? Great community, it's a big community, uh, very detailed and good training, right? But how easy is it to grow a local lead generation agency, okay? I think it's very difficult. Now let me explain why, right? Even though the course is good, the business model is hard, all right, because there are two main pillars that you have to master. The first main pillar is you have to get very good at marketing online. You have to get very good at generating local leads, right, because that is the, that is the lifeblood of your business. That's the bread and butter. If you can't deliver local leads to your clients that you're going to pick up and prospect to, then you don't have a business. Okay, does that make sense? So if you're a beginner and you've never done internet marketing before, you have to get very good at generating local leads on local pay-per-click marketing, Facebook pay-per-click marketing, Google ads, and search engine optimization. That pillar alone is a difficult pillar because you basically have to learn to become a great lead generation expert, right? That's what people are paying you for. So if you can't get good at that and you can't get good at doing it cheaply, then you can't sell your services to your prospects. Does that make sense, right? So that's the first pillar you have to get good at. The second pillar is you have to get very good at prospecting and signing on new clients, new local business clients. Now, the problem with this is that you have to get pretty good at sales, right? And unfortunately, not everybody is good at sales, right? If you've never done sales in your life, this is a skill set that you're going to have to pick up. Now, don't get me wrong, you can pick this up. You can learn to sell and prospect and close sales, but just understand that this part is a very big part. It's, a, it's the second big pillar of this particular business, all right? Because you have to go out there and you have to sell your services to local business, like you know, a local pub or a local hairdresser or a local contractor or a local consultant or a local you know, hair salon, right? Uh, you know, a local retailer, whatever it is, all sorts of different local businesses, a roofer, a plumber, a bricklayer, right? All sorts of different businesses, but you have to get very good at prospecting and closing them into your business. If you're not very good at sales or you're a bit shy, you're an introvert, this might be difficult for you because you, you literally have to get in front of them. You have to do the contract neg negotiation, you have to send it to them, you have to negotiate, you have to speak to them over a Zoom call or face-to-face -face or the phone, different strategies, but you still have to, you have to press flesh, right? This is this particular industry, okay? Um, so that might be hard for some people. Okay, this is not, this is an online offline business. It's not a pure online business. You just have to understand that. The offline part is you have to go out there and literally prospect uh, for local leads. Okay, and if you're not comfortable with doing that, then maybe local lead generation services is not for you. Okay, now you can hire people to do this for you eventually. That's how you scale, right? But initially, you're probably have to gonna do this yourself, unless you got a big bud budget to hire someone to do the, the selling and uh, you know the selling and telling for you, right? And the closing of, of clients. The last thing is you must deliver. Okay, so that's the third pillar. There are three pillars to this business. You have to get the ad, you have to get the leads, you have to get the clients, and you have to deliver to the clients. Because you're setting up a lead generation agency, if you do not deliver your leads to your clients, 
you will have very unhappy clients and they will give you a lot of crap and they will cancel. That's how you lose people, right? So you have to understand that this business, you're basically servicing clients. You're servicing local businesses, right? So your main bread and butter is keeping your clients happy. If your lead generation doesn't work out for them, they are going to be very angry with you and you have to deal with that every single day. So communication and delivery and service becomes a very, very big part of this business model, right? Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that you can't make money from this business model. You obviously can. This is a international, very big industry, but it's, I think, very, very difficult because of everything that we just spoke about earlier, the three main pillars. Most other industries, you only have to, good, you have to, only have to get good at marketing. You don't have to learn how to prospect. You, you don't have to learn how to sell, or close, do contracting. You don't have to learn to deliver. Obviously, it depends on what business model that you're in, but running an agency, I think, is uh, it can be very challenging. It can be very rewarding, too. You can make a lot of money. You can scale. You can hire big teams. And that's the thing. If you want to get really good at this, you have to hire teams. It's very difficult to make a lot of money in this particular industry as a solopreneur. You're going to eventually have to hire teams, pay salaries to in, in order for you to scale. That's the other slight problem. It's, it's a benefit and, a, and a, it's a pro and a con, to be honest, right? Being able to scale and hire teams is a great thing if you're open to that, but the cost can be quite high because you have to pay salaries, okay? So it depends on what kind of business that you wanna build, all right? So that's my review of a Local Marketing Vault, right? I think it's a great training if you want to start a local lead generation business, but there are a lot of disadvantages and I think challenges with this industry. This program is not cheap, the refund policy is very short, and running a local lead gen business is very, very hard, okay? But if you are, um, you know, set on creating this kind of business for yourself, then I think it's a great training and you should check out James's program, okay? You can check it out at twopagesites.com um, and you can check out their program if you would like, right? So that's my review of Local Marketing Vault. You can check it out if you would like. Now, if you're here though watching this video, maybe you're not necessarily set on starting a lead gen business. Maybe you just came across this because you saw an ad, you saw a webinar, you saw a banner, and you're kind of doing your research. You wanna make money online, but you don't know how, right? There's so many ways to make money on the internet. And I've been on online marketing for over 14 years. I've you know, sampled and tested and run so many different businesses. And out of all of them, I still have one business model that I think is the best. And I still think till today, it's the easiest, it's the most straightforward, and it's the most affordable way to get to five to $10,000 a month, 100% from home. Just click the link below if, you would, if you're interested in checking that out, and I'll send you that strategy for free straight to your email. All right, I hope you enjoyed this review of Local Marketing Vault. All the best to you, and see you in another product review. Take care.